Mate, it's been an hour. Do you want to call it a draw? Got a video to do. Yeah, all right, yeah. Got a nice pump on, actually. Yeah, nice. It's all right, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. This week, we come to you from sunny Bristol. Why Bristol? Well, it's halfway between where you and I live, isn't it? Not because Dave the cameraman lives here. Oh, yeah, it could be that, couldn't it? He just hates spending money on petrol, doesn't he? You've been in a bit of uh, spot welding in your free time, have you? Well, after last week's episode, and obviously Wales is winning at the weekend, I'm, I'm just trying to keep a low profile. Yeah, I know the mm. feeling. I know I'm a really macho, uh, tough, aggressive guy, but I'm also quite chilly because I carry no body fat. So do you want if we pop indoors and chat rugger over a little pot of tea? Oh, that'd be nice. One question. Yeah. Why the one glove? It's not a glove, mate. It's an arm wrestling mitt. Mm. All right, OJ. Hey, had a win Friday night, wouldn't it? The Welshies delivered, didn't they? Massive win. I said Wales often don't lose three games on the bounce. They didn't. It was backs against the wall. The pressure was on. They went out there and they performed and scored three good tries. It was very pleasing to see and some great performances as well. Liam Williams again mm. on the wing. Sam Warburton at six. Beast, absolute beast Sam was, wasn't he? He was. Rhys Webb ran the show at nine. Yeah, Ken Owens getting closer to the British line selection, I reckon, every week. Really, really good. Yeah, the Sheriff's been one of Wales' best players. Deja vu for England again, though. Yeah, another Saturday, another W. And England were fantastic, I thought, in attack. Very dominant up front, super sharp, loads of options out wide, loads of pace. England's job was made immeasurably easier by Scotland's performance. They were bullied up front. Defensively, they were all over the place. I haven't seen a tier one midfield humiliated like Jonathan Joseph humiliated Scotland at the weekend for a long time. So yes, Scotland made England's job easier. Nevertheless, England scored 61 points and seven tries at Twickers, which isn't easy in a test match. So fair play to the boys. Mate, you've got to be looking forward to England potentially winning a Grand Slam against Ireland in Dublin this weekend. Yeah, it's the only game to watch, in it? I reckon that England are going to do the job as well. There are other games going on, but I don't think anyone cares about any of them. Mate, there's over three million people in Wales. We just want to see them finish on a high. Yeah, last weekend, didn't it? Big one. Mm. Does that mean no more of these? Yeah, it's the last one, yeah. Have you enjoyed it? Mm. In a way. You? Yeah. yeah, in a way. You've done a really good job, boy. Mm. Ta-da. Bye-bye.